start at the age two, right? So I would like uh, you all to go through in a small video, uh, which emphasizes and also educate all of us that why early childhood education is so important and why uh, you know uh, two to six years are so crucial and uh, important years in the in the life of the child, right? So. Uh, I would uh, play a video. Uh, I would request all of you to uh, understand what, what the video is all about. What is it that will make some of these babies thrive while others won't? What will make some of these toddlers go on to college and pursue rewarding careers or fulfill their professional aspirations while others might have to settle? for a lot less. Is it a matter of fate, money, intelligence? Is it luck, hard work, genetics? Is it a question of education? What happens in the first few years of life before formal schooling begins helps to lay the foundation for future success. What children experience even before they learn how to talk increases their chances of reaching their full potential and might be the key to creating better societies for everyone. And the secret lies in the most unsuspected place, our young brain. If you're seeing, if you're hearing, if you're feeling, um, and if you're deciding, if you're thinking, if you're reading, etc., this is your brain in action. During our early years, the brain is optimized for learning and is capable of extraordinary change. No wonder a baby brain can create more than a million new neural connections every single second. They say practice makes perfect, and that is exactly what the brain does. Every time we learn or experience something new, it detects a change, and that change forms connections, which help build the foundation of a powerful brain. The connections that are not used repeatedly are lost. During the early years, when the brain is at its most active, is when the roadmap of our lives is first designed. Although change is possible as children grow, science is proving that getting it right from the beginning is the best opportunity we have to increase our chances of happiness and success. Children are natural learning machines. They are born ready to learn. They already have learned some things, even in utero. The first three years of life, I think, are the magical years for intervention. Because the changes that we facilitate then can last for the rest of the child's life and of the parent's life and create a new way of relating. A really good, solid early childhood education foundation are more likely to continue their education when they leave high school. They're more likely to go to college. They are four times more likely to graduate from college. They are more likely to get highly skilled jobs that pay more. Uh, they are actually healthier as adults. Because none of us can remember our lives before we were two or three or four, depending on when your first memory is, um, it's easy to think that there's nothing happening in there. The idea that we would um, think about learning as something that doesn't happen until you're five or six just doesn't make sense scientifically. And so kindergarten prep begins in the crib, begins at birth begins with the parents' knowledge of how, what their contribution is going to be to the baby's brain development. Because a brain has to be built. It comes ready to learn, but it's not built yet. While some of these children may thrive and others might not, we now know that the experiences they are exposed to and the skills they acquire early on truly matter for the brain's development. The early years are an unrepeatable opportunity to improve their chances of happiness and success and the best way to help them fulfill their dreams, whatever they may be. 
dear parents you know this video uh, talked about you know uh, how uh, neuro you know neural connections happens in the brain right and uh, um, researches are proven that and also now the as i mentioned the new government also recognizes that 90% of the brain development happens be between the age of 2 to 6 years right because that's where uh, you know every second there are mi millions of you know neural connections which happens at this age right and as a parent if we have to do any good for our child then this is a time wherein we give that opportunity for our child uh, where they get in a platform uh, a great uh, school wherein uh, wherein which which helps a child in terms of the overall brain development happens okay so th that is why i know harvard university says that uh, the emotional and physical uh, you know health social skills and cognitive linguistic capabilities that emerge in early years are all important prerequisite for success in school and later in the workplace and the community okay so this two to six years are the basic foundation years for the child okay to prepare for rest of his uh, you know uh, lifelong journey of learning is concerned so uh, why early school you know why uh, the early you start you know uh, or given uh, given opportunity for your child to to be a part of a, a preschool as early as 2 years because that empowers the child in overall 360 degree development uh, okay uh, which because this preschools uh, you know have a program which provides you know uh, the right stimulation and balance for overall development of the child right so uh, preschools have uh, age appropriate ac activities which are designed for each program to encourage the curiosity in the child and also fuel you know child's creativity uh, uh, in, in overall sense right so uh, dear parents um, what does a 360 degree uh, overall development means right uh, so uh, it helps in 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 ensuring a healthier uh, healthy body right nurturing creativity for the child builds you know a brain power developing last uh, uh, life skills right and also social so, uh, social and emotional skills okay so i would urge all the parents because we know that a lot of parents are still in a dilemma especially parents who, who, whose child is say two years, three years to uh, uh, thinking still whether to enroll or not to enroll, right? So do not make a mistake because if this is a right age, right? For the child to get such an opportunity, right? Wherein you, you are uh, helping a child to achieve all the required milestones, you know, at that age, okay? So, Let's move uh, to the next slide. So uh, naturally, uh, all of us, you know, um, have genetics, right? Uh, and genetics play a key role in every child's physical appearance and behavior, right? So we all come with some kind of a genetics, right? So it is uh, it's equally important that you know uh, this. Uh, genetics has to be nurtured right and we need to give an opportunity uh, if we are talking about the child then you know opportunity for the child to uh, nurture those genetics you know in a healthy growing environment right both indoors and outdoors right so uh, naturally uh, a genetics helps in terms of physical appearances and physio sociological traits right and how we can nurture what what's the advantage of you know nurturing this uh, uh, this uh, uh, genetics right so it, overall it helps uh, in in building a great experiences of cognitive skills enriching social uh, environment right exposure to build behavior skills right and 
how do a, as a parent now uh, give an uh, opportunity to nurture those skills right so there are some checklists that as a parent that you need to consider right so before you select a right uh, school for your child right so you need to consider the credibility of the school as a brand right then you need to also ensure that that school has a quality teachers right or the faculties who are associated with the school whether the school has advanced curriculum which which caters to the need of the child at that age right a uh, behavioral of a uh, management environment and infrastructure which is so crucial you know in overall 360 development of the child safety protocols are been taken care in the school or no right and communication and transparency right uh, that a school is uh, providing when you select the school right so these are the few um, criteria that you need to consider when you are looking for a, a right school for your child right so let's uh, proceed further so uh, as i mentioned that you know still uh, there are a lot of people uh, parents who have you know uh, uh, still in a dilemma right uh, to to enroll the child or not not to enroll at this age, right? So uh, do not make that mistake because uh, starting as early as two years is so important, right? And uh, at two years, uh, we offer a program of a play group, right? See, as a parent, we may think that what happens at that age, right? It's just a play which happens in a school, right? That's what as a uh, uh, parents we we might think of, but what looks like a play to a parent, right? They had a lot of so uh, so much of learning outcomes, right? So if I talk about a two-year-old child who is going to enroll in a, a program, play group uh, a program, uh, would go through all these learnings, right? A child would learn more of shapes, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, under shapes, you know, like circle, square, triangle, rectangular, right? Color. The child would learn colors, different kinds of colors, right? Language and literacy, right? Which, in which uh, they identify letters of alphabets with an object, right? And scientific thinking, right? So under scientific uh, thinking, a child would learn all about me, sensory play, my home, my school, fruits, vegetable, community helpers, animals, right? And also uh, math, which is a part of uh, these programs, right? Identifying numbers from one to nine. So at age of two in a play group, this is what a child would uh, learn, right? Uh, as a uh, required milestone at that age, right? So this uh, um, um, curriculum would really help the child to stimulate and ensure that you know the neurons are so much of strong, uh, strongly developed, right? And if the child is around, say, three three years, uh, so, sorry, before that also, let's see what are the uh, uh, program that a uh, uh, play group offers uh, you know, to the child, right? So um, I'm, uh, Himani Ma'am would uh, take us all through in detail uh, later when he, she's going to talk about our curriculum, which is Unoya, right? So Unoya is nothing but your, you know, mind, body, and soul, right? So when I'm thinking of um, uh, that, then what a play group offers is a cognitive skills, scientific thinking, and social emotional skill, right? So in detail is what we will discuss, uh, uh, you know, when Emani Ma'am would be taking us through. A child at three years of age, right, um, would uh, be eligible for a nursery program, would uh, go through all these learning outcomes, Okay, in a given academic year. Uh, again, in continuation from playgroup to nursery, if the child is moving from playgroup to nursery, uh, and the children who are going to join for the first time at uh, uh, to a nursery program. So these are the uh, uh, the curriculum that a child would uh, go through, right? So we will uh, make a child learn on colors, different kinds of colors, again, shapes, uh, again, when we are talking about shape, this would be more evolved, uh, advanced uh, uh, learning uh, process uh, in nursery, right? Additional concept that a child would learn, 
like open and close, big and small, near and far, in and out, wet and dry, up and down, right? So uh, these are all a part of our nursery program. Under scientific thinking, a child would uh, learn about my family, transport, vegetable, fruits, birds, right? And language and literacy, wherein a child would, uh, uh, would learn to identify letters, recognize phonic sounds, uh, associating objects, uh, pattern writing, right? And in math, again, it's identified of learning uh, numbers and counting objects, right? So uh, in a, 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 to summarize a nursery program, which we offer to a, a three-year-old child, right? So this is what we, need to, uh, we, we, we have, which is a cognitive skills again, which uh, covers of maths, language and literacy, communication, under scientific thinking, uh, it's basically in terms of, you know, enhancing curiosity, uh, you know, driven questioning, sense, sensory exploration, object recognition and exploration, social emotional skills, curiosity unleashed, sensory exploration, which uh, happens, task understanding and explanation, right? So this is what a three-year-old uh, child would get uh, exposed to. So uh, parents, uh, I know it feels uh, uh, very proud to introduce that, you know, we are part of uh, Eurokids uh, preschool, right? So, which is India's leading early childhood education uh, company, right? Uh, and we have 21 plus years of uh, total experience in, in early childhood education. We operate in three countries with over 1,200 plus preschools. Uh, we are spread across uh, 350. 50 plus cities, uh, you know, uh, across three three countries, and uh, till now uh, we have made uh, uh, a difference in life of more than uh, five lakhs plus uh, students, uh, as we are talking on, right? So, yes, uh, this is a, a great uh, recognition for all that great work that we are doing, okay, in early childhood education because. Um, as as I mentioned earlier, it's a great great uh, years of foundation, right? And uh, as Euro kids, we uh, our philosophy is child centric, right? Age appropriate learning, and ensuring that 360 degree uh, brain development or overall development of the child is what happens in our Euro kids preschool. So for all that work that we do and we have been doing, so we have been recognized, you know. Uh, uh, as a, Asia's most trusted preschool brand, right? Uh, we have also been recognized India's most trusted preschool brand, right? Uh, the most uh, uh, respected early childhood education brand, top 10, uh, 100 franchise opportunity for the year 2022, best preschool education in Asia in the year 2022, best franchiser for the year 2022. Um, uh, parents, let me uh, say that we have been, uh, you know, uh, awarded 40 plus uh, awards in 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 business recognition and curriculum in the last two years. Okay, so what what makes schools, uh, you know, so safe, right? And uh, as a Euro kids, we we have been. Um, uh, following this uh, six safety points, right, across all our schools uh, in India, right? So all our Eurokids preschools have CCTV surveillance and we do a constant monitoring of the scene, right? Um, all our staff, you know, associated with Eurokids preschool are all background verified. They all are trained, okay? And, and it's a continuous training which was because uh, a curriculum is only good when you have a, a, a no good staff to deliver it, right? So the outcome is what matters the most, right? Otherwise, we can't claim that, you know, ours is the best curriculum. So our best can only be supported by great uh, teachers to, to deliver it, right? So we invest a lot in, 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 in ensuring that every staff associated with Eurokids are well trained, right? So we strictly uh, adhere to all the safety regulations uh, which are being put forward by various uh, departments, right? 
So all the rules and regulations which are mentioned by Ministry of Education of India, also a Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, ICMR, and World Health Organization. So we follow all the protocols uh, which have been uh, laid or uh, guidelines which have been laid by these agencies and are practiced in all our Eurokids preschool across India. So we also, uh, uh, you know, uh, do a, uh, a regular drills for emergency preparedness and crisis management across all our school, right? So be it our staff or also our, our students who are associated with Eurokids, they undergo uh, uh, rigorous, um, you know, uh, uh, drills were at a right intervals, ensuring that you know uh, everyone are prepared in in case of any kind of emergency which we encounter. Right. So um, all our Eurokids preschools are, are CT certi uh, safety certified. So every school go through a 360 degree of safety certification program, wherein more than 160 plus. Uh, a points, safety points, which a school has to achieve, right? And uh, we, it would be audited by Eurocates and then a school gets uh, uh, a certification uh, based on their scores, right? So uh, all Eurocates preschools uh, have gone through a safety certification and are certified. We ensure a regular sterilization of toys, infrastructure, classrooms, and also a play area to ensure that all our Eurokids preschools are safe, hygiene, right? Uh, to all the kids that come to Eurokids. Right? So these are the uh, six, uh, six most important uh, safety points that we take care of, uh, uh, take care uh, in all our Eurokids preschool. So uh, we move to the next slide. I would uh, request, uh, uh, Himani ma'am to take us all through about all our curriculum that we have to offer to our children. Over to you, Himani. Thank you. Thank you, Jagdish. So good evening to all the participants. So talking about uh, our curriculum, which is a uh, Unoya curriculum, and this is the seventh version of our curriculum. In Eurokids, every three years, we upgrade our curriculum with the current trend so that the children, they feel at pace when they are at a preschool. So talking about Unoya curriculum, uh, Unoya is a Greek word that means uh, the beautiful mind that we intend to cultivate through our curriculum. Uh, our curriculum focuses on uh, developing well mind, fit body, and a beautiful school. So the three domains that are developed under mind, body, and soul are the cognitive uh, domain, that is the mental skills. After that, we have the affective domain, which works on the emotional areas of the child development. And then we have the psychomotor skills, which works on the physical development of our students. So looking for the mind, body and soul, we have uh, topics that have been divided as per the three domains in our curriculum. Jagdish, can we have the next slide? So as you can see, when we talk about the holistic development, now holistic development is where not only the academics, but we are taking care of the mind, body, and soul. So under the mind domain, we have euphonics, we have math lab, and the scientific spark. Under uh, your uh, body, we have neurofit and yoga kids. And under soul, we have mindful class sessions and euro music sessions. Talking about euphonics, uh, now developing the habit of reading is very, very important and plays a very significant, uh, significant role uh, during the early years. We at Eurokids follow the phonic method for teaching the reading part. So where the child is going to decode that each letter has a sound which is associated with a sound, which is going to help them in uh, reading the word as a whole, not by word by word. Now, as you can see, Math Lab. Now, Math Lab teaching children mathematical skills at, in early years is very, very crucial. 
We at EuroKids follow MATLAB methodology, which helps every single child in the classroom to understand the mathematical concepts through hands-on activities, uh, through concrete objects and repeated experiences through various activities that we conduct in our classroom. Now, as you can see, scientific thinking. Now, it is very, very important to develop scientific thinking in a child during the early years. We at EuroKids encourage all our students to have an open approach to understand that there are many answers to a specific question or a problem. We indulge all our students in experimentation by self to find the answers and they evaluate after that. Talking about Eurofit, Eurofit is a fitness program which is specially designed for our EuroKid students by the Health Set Go, which is one of India's largest certified school health organization. Here, we make sure that all our students are developing various motor skills. Uh, they are working on their body strength and mind to muscle connection to make an athlete body, which is definitely going to help them in achieving the academic goals in future. Talking about uh, talking about yoga, so yoga is introduced to help children use their body in a healthy way through the correct breathing. Right breathing is very, very important for the awareness. And through meditation uh, uh, exercises, we help in building the concentration level of the children, which at early stage is very, very important because at this age, from two to three years and two to four years, the children have a lot of anxiety issues. So these anxiety issues can be taken care of by regular yoga sessions in our EuroKids uh, classes. Talking about Euro music, Euro music again is a. Uh, uh, one of the most important uh, session that really helps our children to develop their emotional quotient. The sessions, the Euro music sessions in our classroom are very well designed by our knowledge partner and Mika. During the session, our students are engaged in well-designed songs, uh, which help them to learn self-regulation skills while they sing and play. Talking about the mindful session. Now, our Unoya curriculum focuses on uh, developing the mindfulness in all the students. These sessions in our classrooms help the child to focus uh, more on what they are currently doing. So that is, they have to concentrate, have to be present in now. These mindful sessions help in improving their concentration in developing good regulation, uh, self-regulation skills. Talking about our methodology, the holistic development, uh, when we are talking about the holistic development, preschool teaching methods, they differ from one preschool to another preschool, depending upon the approaches and philosophies that they follow. At Eurokit, with our child first ideology, Unoya, our special curriculum, keeps the innocent mind uh, uh, and beautiful mind of a child at the heart of everything that we do. Based on these pillars, uh, we take initiative on focusing on nurturing mind of the child, keeping it healthy and well-balanced. Now talking about the settling period, which is a very, very important time. So uh, we have a, a two week settling period uh, the, when the academic session starts. So as to make the transition from home to school uh, friendly for the children. So these sessions, the settling sessions have uh, light programs like outdoor activities. We have music sessions, we have regular yoga sessions. So as to make the toddlers feel free and daily attendance at the school, they become familiar with the classrooms and their teachers. Now, these sessions basically are developing their social emotional skills where they are having the interaction with their peer group, 
with their teachers. So moving from family, moving from father, mother or grandparents, now they are interacting. Their social interaction is widening where they are interacting with their peer group. They are learning to share. They, they uh, imitate with each other and they are learning many skills. So social emotional skills at this time is very, very important during the settling time. Why settling time is important? Because this is a very crucial time for all the students. So when we talk about our playgroup and nursery students, the development areas where cognitive, uh, the language skills, the physical skills are very, very important. And at EuroKids, our teachers personally nurturing every student to make sure that the child receives the best uh, period uh, in the school and the foundation is prepared thereafter. Children are taught counting uh, through counting objects, through sorting and classifying. So these concepts, the language concepts and the mathematical concepts are being done in such a manner where the transition period from home to um, school becomes easier for the parent as well as for the child to settle down in the school. Thereafter, from week three, our entire curriculum starts for the uh, students. Now, this is how a uh, day at EuroKids uh, look like. We have uh, three hours for playgroup and nursery. We have a three hour school. So we start with the welcome time where the teacher welcomes every single child. Now, welcome time is a very, very important time of the day because this is the time when the child feels welcome in the school to start the day. The entire day depends upon how they have been welcomed. Our teachers are well-trained at EuroKids to welcome the children in a unique manner. Every single day, there's a new way to welcome our students. After welcome time, we have our learning corners. Learning corners basically are being set and they have. we all have uh, uh, new learning corners each uh, day where the children are actually involving in the activities where they are manipulative activities, the creative activities, reading, writing, readiness activities so that the anxiety level of the children reduces and they are ready for the rest of the day. After the learning corners, we have our attendance time. Again, the attendance time is done in a unique manner where children feel very happy uh, giving their presence to the, uh, confirming their presence to the teacher. After the attendance time, we have our scientific thinking time where the children are uh, doing their concept uh, related activities. Then we move to the snack time. Now, during the snack time also, the teacher take good care of the children where they are being taught about the basic etiquette uh, during the snack time, uh, how the healthy food is good for each child. So right from playgroup to senior KG, our teachers are having uh, uh, time sp spent with the students where they are guiding them about the healthy uh, food items that they should eat for the better growth. After the snack time, we have the music and movement time or the circle time or the word of the week where we are introducing new word each week or we are having a readiness activity. Moving on, uh, after this, we move on to the mathematic activity or the language and literacy. Then we have our mindful practices or a peer interaction. Now, peer interaction happens for the socializing. This is the time when the child is socializing, where the language development is happening. Then we are having the reading time and the story time. After uh, these, uh, this session, we have the Eurofit or a Euro music or an outdoor play or a yoga kit session. And then we have a reflection time. Now, reflection time is very, very important time where the teacher talks about the entire day. This is the time when we are brushing up and the teacher is observing how much the child has retained of all the concepts that has been done. We at Eurokid believe that when the child goes back home, the child is going back with a learning. And then we have the transition back for home. Talking about the assessments, we have regular ongoing assessments for all our students at Eurokid. Now, the assessments are based on the observation of the skills that uh, the child is going to develop throughout the year. For each topic, we have the skill, we have the learning outcomes and the skill development. 
So parent participation and inferences and detailed assessment of all the main areas of uh, learning are being assessed throughout the year of the child. Now, these are the events and celebrations that uh, we at Eurokids celebrate with our students. So we do celebrate Mother's Day, Father's Day. Then we uh, celebrate Grandparents' Day, where the grandparents actually feel very, very happy uh, coming to their uh, grandchild's school and getting engaged in the activity. Then we uh, all the major festivals are celebrated. Then we have our uh, gallery walk and the knowledge fair, which generally happens during uh, September and October. Then we have Dan Utsa, which we uh, conduct during the October, from 2nd October to 8th October. Our sports day, we call, is, uh, call it as Health is Well Day because we want to ensure that every single child should be well aware that health is very, very important. And for that, staying active is very important. Then we have our annual day and the graduation day. Gradu graduation day is the passing out celebration from one program from play group to nursery and from nursery to the kindergarten classes. Talking about new programs each day, so we have Time for Reading. Time for Reading is a very, very important program where we are inculcating the time uh, of the children where they are engaging. Uh, point number one, they are interacting with the, each other. Uh, they are playing together. They, this activity is conducted between two students where they are talking to each other. There, there are uh, uh, activities which they get involved and they talk about it. Peer interaction, where we are giving a lot of opportunity to our children to interact because when we say we go with the language development, it is very, very important that a two-year-old and a three-year-old child should interact because the more they are in going to interact with their peer group, they are going to have a strong hold of the language. Talking about the sustainable development goals. Now, when we talk about sustainable development goals, these goals actually has been set up by the United Nations for the early years. For uh, This is actually a very empowering program where our students are able to participate uh, in understanding and managing the, managing the sustainability of their own homes and schools. So ultimately, we are working towards greater awareness of our planet and a new, more meaningful way of learning. Then we also have sessions about Be Safe, where the children are being guided. They are being uh, uh, taught about how to stay safe, even if an adult is not there. So how can they stay safe in school and anywhere that they are going? It's not only school and home, but anywhere, anywhere that they are going, how safe they can be and how they can take care of themselves when it comes in uh, terms of safety. Now, this is the happiness kit. Uh, once your child takes an admission in Eurokids, they are being given a lot of uh, joy in a happiness uh, box. So for happiness box, we have a welcome kit, which is given to the child at the time of the admission. Uh, where we are having 30 plus engaging tools. Now, when we are talking about engaging tools, so we have uh, the books, we have the uh, a lot of uh, uh, activities which are there. Uh, then we have notebooks, we have the uniform for play. There are three t-shirts which comes in the welcome kit. Then we have a readiness kit, which is for the development of the motor skills for an eye-hand coordination development. Uh, we also have the takeaway at school. Now, takeaway at school is actually a creative activity where the children are going to develop their fine motor skills. Now, these takeaway at school activities, the creative activities are the recapitulation of the topics that are being taught in the classroom. Then uh, the child is going to get the theme kit, which is going to take care of their developmental goals. 
and they enjoy the uh, creative um, items, the uh, things that are being given in the theme kit. And it also has a storybook where we are again uh, inculcating the habit of reading children rather sitting in front of the TV or watching uh, YouTube in a mobile phone. We encourage that the more they are going to read, the more they are going to be proficient in English speaking. So these stories are very user friendly easy to understand language and the activity which is going to be there in the theme kit is going to be associated with the concept that they have done in the classroom. Then we have takeaway at home where we are giving an activity uh, which is going to be uh, done at home. Uh, basically takeaway at home is uh, being designed where you share a bond with your child. We want that the parent should sit with the child where the child is doing an activity and at the same time, the child is explaining what and why this activity is being done. So this is basically the revision of the activities that the child is has done in the school. We at Eurocade go with the convenience of multiple sh shifts. We are not very rigid that we are only going to start in the morning hours and the school only runs in the morning hours. So some kids are actually late rise and especially after COVID, we have seen that kids generally uh, do not like getting early. So we have the uh, convenience of multiple shift by choosing the late morning shift. Also, uh, the parents who work in the US or UK ship, so a late morning ship will be very, very convenient for you and your child. And we know that you work long hours to provide the bright, uh, bright future for your child. So matching up with the suitable schedule shift is uh, going to be beneficial for you as well as for your child. So these are the shift timings for nursery and play group. So the nearest center, uh, so if you are taking admission in Eurokit, so you need to visit the nearest center uh, and you can talk about the multiple shifts and uh, based on that, you can uh, select the uh, schedule, maybe shift one, which starts from 8.30. Somewhere it starts, in, uh, st starts at eight o'clock also. So we request you that you should visit the nearest Eurokids school to know more about the shifts uh, running at the Eurokid school. Now talking about the engagement beyond school, beyond the classroom. Now this is actually very, very important. Uh, we have our Home Buddy app, which actually is a very, very uh, important and innovative digital learning platform, which is tailor-made for your child to provide an enjoyable and uh, continue learning even uh, beyond school. So even if the child is at home, the learning is not stopping. So this HomeBuddy app gives your child the access to uh, fun and interactive sessions uh, to ensure that uh, the child does not miss out on the learning part or the uh, fun that the children are having in the school. So if you can see uh, the engagement beyond the classroom on Home Buddy app where the child can have the access to the fun zone activities. Now these fun zone activities are uh, actually very good activities which are again related to the cognitive development uh, uh, of the child. Then we have the learning uh, uh, plans. We have integrated hands-on activity kits that are there. Uh, we also have advanced teacher connectivity, interactive games. We have a lot of audio visuals. Then we have read along stories and the DIY activities. Now through these activities, the child is actually in touch with the academics and the holistic uh, development is happening where they are going through the uh, mindful plus sessions. They are going through the home uh, Euro music. The songs are being uploaded in the app so they can have uh, the fun even at home. We also for language development, we also have the interactive picture talk where the child is sitting and they are going through the picture talk where the child is getting exposed to a lot of uh, rich vocabulary which is going to develop uh, through these interactive storytelling sessions. 
then we have a parent corner then we have worksheets so if in case you want that you want more practice of your child the worksheet with the child is doing in the school are all uploaded in the home buddy app and you can access you can download these worksheets and the child can do these uh, uh, worksheets even at home Now, uh, talking about the program wise age breakup now for play group, uh, which uh, is two to three years where a lot of discovery and exploration happens. A uh, lot of language development activities are being done because this is the time when the child is settling into the world of academics and we are shaping their uh, scientific mindset. Now, when we talk about shaping their mind, scientific mindset, we start with playgroup, we start with the concepts like myself, where they are knowing, then they, they should know their identity, whether they are a boy or a girl, their name, their senses. And then gradually we are moving towards the complex topic, where we are moving towards the senses, their school, their neighborhood, their home, and so on. Then moving on to nursery, we have three years to four years uh, where the, the complexity of the topic is going to increase in nursery, where they are going to have the enhanced interaction. And the uh, when we talk about cultivating creativity and improving imagination, this is the time when we are give, exposing them to the real world objects. From recognizing a letter to one picture, now they are going to recognize uh, one letter with three pictures. Then uh, through various interaction, their art and music enhancement is going to take place. They will be introduced to phonic sounds in nursery. Moving towards Euro Junior, which is now a kindergarten, that just uh, four to five years where age appropriate learning and educational tools are done for the individual pace. And our Euro senior is five years to six years where we are developing, we pay a lot of attention on their vocabulary, reading and writing skills with innovative methods, methods to prepare them for the mainstream school. Yeah, uh, thank you, Imani, ma'am. Uh, the, uh, dear parents, uh, let's understand, uh, because see, as a parent now we have an option, right? Um, uh, whether to choose a preschool, a Euro kids preschool, or or uh, you know, mainstream school which offers a pre-primary section, right? So we would like to spend some time and uh, want you to also understand why a child, as we are talking about brain development, holistic uh, development, right? Um, 360 degree learning, and a, a, a child would require that kind of atmosphere wherein, you know, there's all kind of uh, things are stimulated, right? Increased in terms of uh, uh, the development happens, right? So it's important uh, that a child gets a lot of, uh, you know, one-to-one -one attention. That is the most important uh, criteria at this age group. And we are talking about two years, three years, uh, a child, then they need a lot of attention, right? And when you have a smaller group of uh, children, right, you get a more attention, right? Wherein it also uh, gives an opportunity for a child to have a lot of uh, peer interaction. That is what a, a EuroKids preschool offers. You know, to the children, right? When you see the, uh, when you compare this with the mainstream school, wherein they, um, you know, operate a, a, a child teacher ratio of say one teacher to 30 to 35 children, correct? So that's the child teacher ratio which a mainstream uh, operates at, right? Which uh, will not give an opportunity, you know, for the child to to share, collaborate, and build relationship, right? So uh, a preschool environment like EuroKids is something which, uh, which you need to consider, right? Because it empowers the child to share, collaborate, and you know, build a relationship uh, in, in, in such a great environment that we offer, right? So this is one most important thing that you need to consider when you're thinking of uh, or considering option of a mainstream school. And do not make that mistake, 
right uh, to to enroll the child in mainstream because they get lost right so give that uh, uh, environment which suits and which helps a child to uh, attain all the required uh, milestones uh, uh, needed let's also see uh, infrastructure and and uh, the equipments and toys also plays a very important role like Eman Imam uh, mentioned some time back that you know so everything that we use you know as a part of our uh, uh, offering uh, to a child it, uh, helps in 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 that uh, 360 degree development of the child right so uh, place and also the toys and equipment are most important things right so at Eurokids so we have child specific child requirement based on the child requirement the the design of equipment you can say or uh, uh, the sourcing of toys uh, are done right which uh, suits the uh, need of the child at that particular age. Whereas if you see in a mainstream school, it's predominantly for the primary section, right? So uh, you may not get that kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, things that, you know, which are required, you know, uh, for for a learning process with, at which this uh, children would require, right? So in infrastructure and, 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 uh, Education toys are most uh, also important, which should be a age appropriate, right? So uh, preschool, uh, Eurokids preschool, uh, you know, offers a structured peer interaction and with the mindful learning and skill based evaluation, right? Whereas if you see a mainstream school, it's more of a content driven, right? It's more of you know content exam based, result oriented right and a lot of you know uh, uh road learning approaches which are practiced in a mainstream school which is not the only thing which a child would require right so child would require a lot of uh, other uh, uh, opportunities to learn right so uh, you should also consider that you know a, a eurokids preschool would offer all that you know which is required so the primary focus, right, at the Eurokids preschool is to ensure that a child would get a whole holistic development, right, which helps in socio-emotional life, uh, you know, skills and mindful uh, learning beyond the physical development academics, right. So that is what uh, is most important up to age six, right. Whereas if you see a mainstream school. Uh, they are prim uh, primarily focused on academic de development, right? Along with the academics, a child would require up to six years, and also a physical development and a lot of you know so social uh, uh, emotional uh, development which a child has to go through, right? So it's important that you you consider uh, Eurokids preschool uh, when you uh, you know. Uh, also considering a mainstream. Yeah, uh, so we have also uh, uh, have taken an initiative to ensure that, you know, uh, we have a lot of uh, opportunity for continuity also for all, uh, you know, Eurokids children, right? So as a Lighthouse Learning, we do operate our own K-12 schools with, in, with the brand name of Euro Schools and Billabong High. Uh, from uh, you know where a uh, Euro child would get an opportunity to continue their further education with the mainstream uh, uh, of our own. Uh, wherever we don't operate our own uh, mainstream school, uh, then we have uh, have done a, a tie up with the best of the schools in that given locality, which will uh, give an opportunity for also a parent to uh, uh, to get in a, a similar kind of. Uh, a uh, school which which believes in a child first uh, philosophy right so uh, when you uh, approach a, a eurokid school uh, closer to you probably they would be uh, in a better position to share more details wherein you know which schools they are associated with for a continuity post uh, post uh, ukg right Yes, parents. Uh, you know, I would uh, urge all of you to to please, uh, you know, um, 
give the opportunity if your child if your child is 2 years 3 years do not wait because uh the brain is developing right and and uh, and and at this age uh, the brain development is is at its peak right so please give this opportunity to your child please invest in your child and you know choose a best option which is a uh, euro kids preschool to to uh, uh, uh to get his uh, you know foundation need and we assure you as euro kids that you know a child would be completely prepared you know for rest of his education journey when it goes to standard 1 that's one assurance uh, from all of our side right so um, uh, thank you lot and uh, now we would uh, like to you know open for a q and a and parents who any query that you have request you to just uh, type your question in in q and a section so that uh, me and uh, himani ma'am would uh, take it up and uh, try to give a uh, uh, solution for that right so request you all to uh, put your questions in q and a section uh, we have a question where the parent is asking uh, whether our students are given potty training and table manners as well uh talking about the potty training uh dear parent uh we actually uh, at the time of admission we guide all our parents that they should meet, suppose if the school starts at 8:30 make sure that your child gets up by 7:45 give the child after the routine the brushing and all give a lukewarm a half a cup of or a glass of milk to the child and make them sit on the potty the child potty which is there so you will see that maybe after a week or a 10 day time the child gets potty trained because this is the time when they have the lukewarm milk and then they are getting into this uh, habit of sitting uh, uh, for the potty also during the school hours we ensure that especially play group and nursery the children are being sent for the bio break after every one one and a half hour and definitely the teachers do tell them that if in case they feel that they need to go to the washroom they should always tell the maid or the teacher that they need to go for a bio break talking about the basic table manners like as i said during the snack time our teachers are continuously interacting with all the students so this is the time where we are training them about how to have the basic table manner why using a napkin is important why washing of the hands is important uh, which uh, hand they should hold the spoon from while eating they should chew the food so these are the basic etiquette they should not speak while eating so these are the basic uh, table manners and the basic etiquette that our teachers are in process throughout the year they are guiding all the students we have a question now teacher child ratio for nursery as mentioned uh, we strictly follow uh, 1 is to 10 uh, teacher child ratio right and um, and this is across uh, all our euro kids pre school across india what will be the student teacher ratio for lkg and uh, senior kg uh, see for uh, lkg and senior kg we have a, a 12 is to 1 uh, himani ma'am Is yeah. what uh, we operate. Yeah. So for every twelve child, uh, we would have uh, one teacher. So in a in a classroom, so we have uh, up to twenty uh, four, depending again on the space, because we may, we practice a child space ratio, right? So in play group and nursery, we we practice one is two. Uh, for every ten square feet, one child is accommodated. Yes. And for LKG and you, uh, senior KG, it's uh, for every twelve square feet, one child. So if you have a uh, uh, say usable area of say up to three hundred square feet, also then we would have uh, you know up to twenty four, twenty six uh, children which will be accommodated in uh, Euro Euro senior and LKG, right? And we maintain a, a child teacher ratio of one uh, is to twelve. So age criteria for Euro Junior kid is 3.5 and is eligible for nursery, but we would like to join him for Euro Junior. Uh, you want to take this up? Ah uh, uh, yes, yes. Ah, uh, so see if the child is 3.5. 
uh, we would suggest that you should take admission in nursery because it is very, very important that the base of the child, the basic uh, knowledge of the letter, the concepts and uh, the numbers should be clear because when the child, a 3.5 year uh, child is being put up in Euro Junior, the child is going to feel burdened because here the level of academics goes to a higher level. So we would suggest that you should put your child in nursery because this is the correct age. And also we at EuroKids, we follow all the uh, age milestones. So suppose if you are pressurizing your child with a lot of uh, things, the child will start having the withdrawal symptoms. So withdrawal symptoms will be where the child is going to start with the nail biting or bedwetting or the child will stop mingling with because the internally they are not able to express themselves because they don't have so much of rich vocabulary at this age so this is the time they feel uh, frustrated they are not able to uh, shell up their frustrations that they are having that the burden is too much on them so we would suggest uh, that you should put your child in nursery so that the the uh, the base of the child should get strengthened from nursery and I would also request uh, uh, this parent to uh, visit a Eurokids preschool. Uh, let uh, let uh, uh, a concerned person there would evaluate your child also, okay. so which program the child would be eligible. Mm -hmm. Having said that, now since the uh, NEP is also getting executed, uh, so it depends again on from which state you are uh, you are from and when the NEP is going to be implemented. So. Uh, for standard one, it's going to be six years, right? Six so, years, considering right. that factor also, then probably.